If you've ever worked with MetaHumans or CC4 characters, you might have noticed that in certain poses, the skeletal mesh can break and you lose volume in the arms or wrists. There's actually a super easy fix for this, which we're going to cover in this video. So stick around to the end to see both examples of how this fix can make your skeletal meshes look a lot better during animation. So here we have a shot from my short film Need for Speed Underground 2 Reworks, which is live on YouTube right now, so you can go ahead and watch that if you're interested. My character is speaking on the phone with a friend, and when she's holding the phone up to her ear, she loses volume in her arms. It's especially prominent if we jump to this frame here, and you can see how her elbow becomes very pointy and sharp, which looks really undesirable, and we're going to fix that with this easy fix. I'm going to start by going into my folder for pipeline tools. So here I've already created a folder called deformers. So we're going to use the deformer graph. You should be able to find this in 5.4 and upwards, and it might be disabled. So we're going to go into the plugins and enable this. Once enabled, restart the engine and we can continue. When you're certain this has been enabled, you can right click anywhere in the content browser and search for deformer. Let's rename this to dg for deformer graph underscore function underscore arm twists or volume or preserve volume the name doesn't really matter just make sure that it's easy to find later so let's open up the graph and continue from there so we're going to start by going into the explorer tab and drag out the primary and this will give you access to your character's mesh and all of the data associated with it next we're going to drag out a skinned mesh node and what this does is that the skinned mesh node acts as the data reader from the mesh. It extracts vertex level data such as position, normals, uh, bone weights and bone transform. We're going to drag out a pin and search for dual quad skin. You will connect the position to the position, the tangent x to the tangent x and the tangent z to the tangent z. This reapplies the dual quarter neon skinning using the bone influences and bone transforms. So even though the skeletal mesh is already skinned, this node recomputes the vertex position using dual quarter neon skinning, which is better at preserving volume at joints compared to linear blend skinning. Finally, we're going to connect this to a right skinned mesh node. So you're feeding the output, the updated position and tangents into the final mesh state. The node tells the system, these are the new vertex positions after all your graphs deformations. Use this when rendering the mesh, basically. And this is the final output stage of the deformation logic. So all in all, just four nodes. And now we will apply this deformer to our body mesh. Let's compile, save, and then find our skeletal mesh body. I will click it in the viewport and then find it in the content browser. Let's open up the skeletal mesh. And under the asset details, I'm going to search for deform. Down here, we have a slot for the default mesh deformer. And we will find the deformer graph that we just created, hit save, and then recompile if needed. And you will instantly see the elbow with corrected volume. So we will have a look at the full animation here. And you can just see how much nicer this looks keeping the volume in the elbow throughout, even though she's holding the phone to her ear. And this works not only on bended joints, it also works on twist joints. So here is another example where we're going to twist the wrist on our character. And this is now without the deformer once again. And you can see how much volume she loses in her wrists when we twist the joints like this. So I will open up the skeletal mesh. Once again, let's reapply our deformer. Hit save. And now you can see the improved result. A very brief tutorial, but I hope it was useful to someone. And if you're new to this channel, I do tutorials covering various topics such as filmmaking, Unreal Engine, Blender, Instamat, 
Embergen and the Relution Suite. So if you're interested in any of those topics and perhaps is a filmmaker like me or a cinematographer or lighter, feel free to hit subscribe so you don't miss out my future videos or you can go and watch my library of other tutorials. I've done a few now, so hopefully I can guide you and help you in some way when learning Unreal Engine, Blender or digital filmmaking in general. You can also become a supporter of this channel to gain some exclusive benefits and I can even make a tutorial specifically for you if you're interested in learning more about that. Check out the description down below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.